Hi, I'm Ian Gilmore with Redline Engineering and RedlineStands.com. And one of the most common questions that we get from customers that are looking for a two-post lift is what's the difference between symmetric versus asymmetric? And so we're going to show you right now. The lift that I've got here in front of me is a symmetric lift, and what makes this lift symmetric is that both of, both of the towers are parallel with one another. They are not canted at an angle at all. And then the arms that you see here, the arms are exactly the same from front to rear and from side to side. The arms do not have a curve to them. One is not longer than the other. So this is a symmetric lift, basically just meaning everything is the same from one side to the other and front to rear. Now, if we go and have a look at the Kernel TP9K AC here, you'll notice that this is an asymmetric lift. This is a completely different ball game. The first thing that you'll notice is I've got the arms fully extended. One arm is longer than the other. The reason that this is handy is because it allows you to achieve a little bit of off-center loading if you need to uh, so that you can open the door of the vehicle. I don't really recommend doing this if you are maxing out the capacity of this lift because you wouldn't want to load it off-center and overload one arm, you know, very badly but if you were lifting you know a 5,000 pound car or truck with a 9,000 pound lift you could certainly load it off center so that you could open the door and that's very nice. There's one other thing that makes this lift an asymmetric lift. I'm going to move the arms all the way in. I'm going to pull up the safety locks here and move this arm as far forward as I can go. Take the back arm which you'll notice has a curve to it and the back arm can point in the same direction. And this is a nice feature because if you're trying to lift something like a Mini Cooper with a real short wheelbase, you can swing both arms in from the same side underneath the vehicle. If you did not have that feature, you might find that both arms tried to come in and they would hit the tires on a real short wheelbase vehicle and then you'd have to move it forward and move it back and so forth to get the arms underneath it. So this is an asymmetric lift. Now I want to show you another type of asymmetric lift, uh, which is really a true full asymmetric lift. Let's come on down this way. What we have here is what they call a turn column lift. If you'll notice, the column of this lift is set at 45 degrees from most of these other lifts. And that's what makes this an asymmetric lift. The reason that that's such a nice feature is because it allows you a very, very easy ability to open the door because you have all of this space for that door to swing open into. Uh, with this particular lift, uh, the arms don't have a curve to them. They don't need a curve because of uh, you know, the way that the lift is made. So this is the second type of asymmetric lift. You can see more of these lifts at our website, redlinestands.com. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our video.